infrared light, hidden, so we can't see. It's definitely there, but hidden from thee. Seeing the invisible, is that statement fair? If we're unable to see it, do we know it's there? Scientists say there's a spectrum of light. Most we can't see. It's way out of our sight. Infrared, gamma, ultraviolet and x-rays speeding around in so many ways. The red's all around us, just not quite in view. Does it have colour? Red, green or blue? Science steps forward, the spectrum's unsealed, uncloaking the invisible, secrets revealed. The infrared light, not normally seen, is revealed in a picture on an LCD screen. It takes just a filter to block out some light, let in the invisible and we have our first sight. It can look dramatic in black and in white. Black's full of richness, the rest crisp and bright. All it took was a box with a hole to capture the invisible, like seeing your soul. Infrared photos are well worth a try. Surreal and impressive, grabbing the eye. If you have an old camera, not worth a thread, have it converted to shoot infrared. The infrared filter is removed from inside. It's replaced with a red one, designed to hide. Once it's converted, it'll eat up bright light. It'll give you great quality without a huge fight. The contrast is low, so it's easy to cope. The work's quite simple, no need for hit and hope. To process the image, we need a new room. One full of light. Some call it light room. Others will argue what we need is a shop. One just for photos. We'll call that Photoshop. Hello, my name's Barry Beckham. I hope you enjoyed my presentation and I'd like to reassure you that making presentations like this is nowhere near as difficult as is often perceived. PTE AV Studio software is all you need and I have lots of videos on YouTube and my website to help you. I'll link to a few related videos below and information related to this presentation. I'll see you next time.